Hey there, this is Amir from Exploring Excel. In this short video, I am going to show you how to create your first mockup for your first Excel dashboard. Now, the basic question here comes is what is a mockup? A mockup is a prototype or you could say an outline of your dashboard. Don't worry, in the next slide, I am going to show you how a demo of mockup. If you are watching this video on YouTube, be sure to click the link in the description where I have just linked it to the post and the exact details regarding what is a mockup, how to create it is mentioned. If you are watching this video on my website at www.exploringexcel.com, then you must be uh, just you can go down and check it below. Every detail is mentioned. Now it comes here why it is required to create a planned and a professional dashboard. If you want to create a very planned professional dashboard, a mockup is required. Now, how are the steps to create a mockup? The first thing is you need to create a mockup using software. The details are mentioned on my website and how, how to create this mockup. Even I have demonstrated one how to create the mockup. You sure to just go and check it out if you are interested. The second thing is you have to implement a design in your dashboard. Now this is the main step. Once you draw up a mockup, you may implement in your design. That's the main thing. Now there are some of the principles you have to keep in understanding that how to implement your design in your dashboard. And the third thing is it's done. There is one thing to note that it depends on your data how the mockup should look like. It does not depend on how I have created it. A mockup can be different for different scenarios. Let me show you how one mockup I have created. You could see here, this is one of the type of mockup which I have created here. And you could see that this is not created in Microsoft Excel for sure. Now, looking at this mockup, it looks like something heading of your dashboard, sales region, employee rating, level, top customers, product wise, etc, etc. Let me just grasp you through. This outer box here, this outer box here represents the dashboard area. I, I usually say that the dashboard should fit in a page. And hence, I have just drawn a box out here to show that the dashboard is fitted inside a page. Next comes is the heading of your dashboard. That's the most and utmost important thing in your dashboard to have a heading. Heading are most important because the view viewers get a grasp at what your dashboard is all about. Most of the people just ignore this heading so as to just occupy this from uh, uh, top right to bottom left so that uh, the full dashboard or full area gets covered with all the information. But no, the headings are the most important and I will also show you how to stylize your headings. Then comes the selection of the region. That uh, Select uh, region, suppose there are north, south, west, east, central region. In each region, there are some uh, employees, let, let's say A, B, C, D, E. I will select one employee. Then here, in this box here, I would check out the ratings which is given to that employee. 3 star, 4 star or 5 star. This rating is given by the management or you may have some calculated fields here. Now, this is a employee's experience level. As and when the employees becomes, uh, as and when our employee becomes, uh, older to organization, the level increases. So right now, suppose if I select a sample dummy employee, his level is 2. So then so forth, if his level is 4, so that we can just think. Then comes is his top 5 customers to sales. That is, who are his top 5 customers and how much sales he has given to them with compared to the whole organization. And here comes the product wise sales. Suppose A, B, C, D, E are the product and how much sales they have given. There is also an important note section or you could say a box type of section here that is known as a management opinion. Now this section gives a personalized opinion and what management says based on these employees. If that employee is satisfactory or he has to improve or he has just reduced his sales or his bonus should be reduced or his bonus should be increased or he should be promoted, something like that thing should be mentioned here. Now, what this mock-up gives you idea is that you have to design a dashboard something like this. Don't worry, I am going to show you how to design this dashboard step by step 
in my next blog post. So be sure to check that out. The link is below the description. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a great day.